Hi, welcome back and uh, in this video we're gonna take a look at the interaction system and how we can uh, create interaction animations with it uh, for example pushing buttons, open doors uh, first we're gonna start with a very simple one uh, the button and uh, in here you see that I have uh, this uh, rig with a couple of cylinders set up and I can just move this up and down here just uh, unity primitives uh, okay so first we're gonna start by uh, making a duplicate of the dummy so we can uh, just take its hand uh, let me just find right hand and we're going to uh, pose it as if it was uh, pushing the button Okay, I'm not gonna waste too much time on it, just uh, make it good enough. Uh, now we, what we need to do is just uh, take that uh, hand bone and just uh, parent it to the button and we can delete the rest of the duplicate character. Uh, we can add the interaction target to it, set its effector type to right hand and basically now we can uh, move the button so this uh, hand target is parented to the button so whenever we move it the hand target will move along. Now we also need to have an interaction object component on the button so here just add one weight curve position weight so we're gonna go uh, it will be a one second uh, interaction so we're gonna start from zero position weight then at half a second it will reach one and then back to zero we're gonna add multiplier position weight multiplied by 1 equals rotate bone weight so the bone will be rotated to match the target and also another multiplier for poser weight so poser just uh, rotates the finger bones to match the target we also for the poser weight we also need to have a, a hand poser script attached to the hand of the character. Now also interaction system test QE so we can just test this interaction out real quick. Effectors right hand and let us see how it works. So, as defined in the interaction object, the uh, hand effector will uh, go to the target in half a second and then it will just go back. Now we can uh, add here an interaction event, set its time to 0 0.5 when the hand is at the target and uh, uh, check this pause checkbox here. So now we have the hand bone uh, at the button and we can uh, we have the interaction paused. So what you see here that if I just uh, move this uh, button here up and down the hand will be moving along. It's uh, basically the idea is not to animate the character but to animate uh, the interaction object. And uh, since the character is locked to it, uh, it will animate the same way. 
Now to do that we first we had this uh, pause event here and uh, we can define animations here. But first we need to create an animation. Now, how to do it with uh, Unity's animation window let me just just uh, show you real quick. Add the animator component uh, go to the animation window click on uh, create an animation clip we're gonna just name it button animation uh, now we have you see that we are in uh, record mode this uh, those buttons here are red which means that we can start uh, recording animation on the button so I'm gonna we can record all the game objects that are uh, children of the main button that has the animator component so I'm gonna click on this uh, red cylinder here and uh, just move it down so I'm gonna copy this copy this first free keyframe and put it here so uh, we have this button pressing animation so now when we take a look at the animator controller you see that it automatically already has this uh, button animation uh, animation state here. Now go back to the interaction object uh, and uh, in this uh, interaction event at 0 0.5 we can also add an animation and uh, assign the animator just write this the same animation state's name button animation and reset normalize time so it will always start from zero uh, just we don't need this pause anymore here. okay so let's uh, play the scene actually need an empty state here so it wouldn't start immediately to play the animation just right click and set as layer default state so this is just empty uh, and we also need to uncheck this loop time here so it would not be looping animation start interaction you see that the animation plays alright, but uh, the, actually the finger just uh, leaves too soon. So what we need to do here is just uh, make it a little bit longer. So just uh, when I start this interaction again, you'll see that the hand will stay there for half a second longer and that is the duration of the animation and that's basically how it's done